Well, hey, all we've returned. So, if I remember correctly, we were uh, trying to clear out this office building here to use as a staging area so that we can take over the hospital so that we can use that as our base of operations in Louisville. Because it's, it's pretty much in the dead center. I mean, we could go here where it's actually the center and maybe make like a a house just out in the boonies. But I think having this um, as our base, because it has a fuel store right next to it, right? So if we get a generator, we can hook the generator up to the pumps and then we can have basically infinite fuel. That'd be great. Right. So that's the plan here. Right now we're here because we uh, sort of, you know, had to run away from some things. That's just kind of how it goes. So we need to find food, first of all. Well, let's jump over this road, check out what this building is, and uh, attempt to liberate a couple of snacks, assuming I don't have any on me. I do have this granola bar. Let's eat that so we're not so hungry. It'll also lighten our load a little bit. Okay. Yeah, we need to find more food, though, because we're just going to get hungry again real quick. But for now, let's go ahead and fill up our water bottle. Take a drink. All right. So I've been thinking we might go back to... Let's open up our map here. I was thinking we could possibly go back over to here where we dropped that baseball bat that was spiked. Because I think... Oh, the stairs are over here. I think maybe I was given the baseball bat, not the love and care it needed, right? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me again. I always sneeze like twice in a row. All right, we're gonna jump the fence here. So what is this? Is this just another school or what? I'm gonna check a car or two here. Let's just check the van. Yep, they're both locked. All right. It's about to be expected. Ooh, we should... Hmm, excuse me, hiccup. Uh, let's just smoke a little bit here. See, I'm already hungry again, so we need more food. After we smoke, we can head in here, because now we have less reduced damage. This looks like a, like a kindergarten or a school or something, so... We're probably not going to get too much here, other than, like, a cafeteria. We're getting some great levels of sneak. Or is it a gym? Gym of some sort, I guess. There's just like a playroom for the kids back there then? So that they can be taken care of when the adults are out doing stuff. They gotta have like vending machines or something here, right then? Right down there. Let's head over that way. Because as much as I would love to use this knife to kill every single zombie we stumble across, um, it only damages them one at a time, which is not great. Uh, with the baseball bat, I have that, you know, swing ability, so it hits multiple zombies. We only got chips out of that. Crap. Well, better than nothing, I guess. So where are we at now? We're here, and this was a, a gym. I think I used an icon for a gym before, didn't I? Yeah, pool, because there was a pool in it. So we're going to use the water symbol here to mark that as a gym. There's so many gyms in this area. All right. Um. Oh, there's not a door here? I thought there was a door. Remove the glass. And then we'll go ahead and just climb through it. There we go. Let's check this car since we're next to it. Everyone locks their doors in the city. Oh. That was a zombie walking around out there. Let's, uh... We'll keep low. Another one just meandered out. Looks like they're coming for us. Go ahead and take them out while there's just one. There we go. Excellent kill. Very nice. Another hunting knife. I'll take it. 
Gotta be careful of that one zombie who wandered away. Maybe we, instead of the, uh, the baseball bat, we could find a, another house that's, like, been boarded up. That'd be useful. A couple of guys over that way. So if we could find another boarded up house, that means we are gonna have a, a stock of a bunch of weapons, especially if it's close by to where we're trying to clear. Oh, there it is. Hell yeah. Ooh, that's not so good though. Let's go up this way. Past all the zombies and we'll try to get in the back. Surely there's like a... Oops, other side of the fence, please. Surely there's like a, a way to break in here, right? Be a zombie inside. I'll have to be careful. I'm sure the door is locked, so let's go ahead and unbarricade this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we could open the window. Lure them out. At least lure that one out. The window. There we go. Got her. All right. Nice. Uh, nothing in there. So I could climb through the window now, but if I do, they might jump me before I get through. But let's try it out anyway. Yep. I figured. Ooh. I was able to stab him off me just in time to avoid getting bitten. That's perfect. Right, let's go ahead and close this window now. We don't want anyone to get in here without our permission. Get the water bottle topped off. And uh, while we're here, let's go ahead and redo this bandage. I love that damn bite. Let's go ahead and disinfect it with the alcohol wipes. And put another bandage on it. And we can... Oh, I guess I can't clean the bandage. Let's check these. Nice! Okay. That's two bandages that have been taken care of. Also, I still have planks on me. I should drop those before they get out of hand. All right, and what about this lady lying on the ground here? Does she have anything on her? No. Okay. Be expected, though. Let's clear down here first, this floor, and then we can move on to the others upstairs. What do we got in here? Oh, yeah. We got a hand axe, a sledgehammer. We got a baseball bat. I'll take the baseball bat. Um, also, if I put these in my bag... They don't weigh too much, so we could use those to help clear things out. Uh, we have a boonie hat, a stick trap. All right, here we go. We got food now, hopefully. A garden hoe, another hunting knife. I'll grab that. A stale, fresh. Let's eat the broccoli. Then I'll also eat the cheese, perhaps. No, I will not, because I'm full. What else we got? Oh, yeah, plenty of stuff in there. What else do we have here? Painkillers, I'll take. Bourbon. Ripped sheets. How do I make a Molotov? Hey, right there. All right. I'm going to make a Molotov, because if we get a, a nice little horde... We can use that to hopefully kill some zombies without a... Uh, kill a bunch of zombies, that is, without too much work. Okay. I'm gonna put this cologne and this hunting knife away as well. And you know what? Maybe I equip the baseball bat. Get it ready. Okay. Let's put the hunting knife away then. I don't like that I'm overweight still. Not overweight, but uh, I mean, carrying too much. 
That's unfortunate. Eat the cereal and then we can rejoice later. But we do have a nice little place here that we're gonna make a safe house. Boop. I wish I could change the size of the, uh, the icon there. All right, let's clear the top floor and see if we have any more weapons. Cause we can always come back here to do more, right? It's not gonna be that far away from where we're going. So. Anybody here? Nope. Okay, what you got? Leather gloves. Ooh, black leather trousers. Let's wear those. Those are better than mine. And they're also clean, so that'd be nice. Next. Probably a bathroom right here, right? Shit! Ooh. Ooh. Almost was bad. I almost clicked this by accident, which would have made it so I could not attack them. Ooh. I don't know what key that's for, but we're good. Okay. Okay, sounds like there's a zombie down here. Let's deal with them first. I would really like to get, oops, not place, sorry. I wanna read it, see if I can get the last bottom chunk of Louisville. No. I was saying, I, I really want to get rid of that uh, bitten thing on my neck. I need this chunk of the map. Also, this chunk up here, I guess, too. Regardless. Oh, yeah, we have another baseball bat. Metal pipe. It's poor condition, though. For a pair, I need duct tape. What's my current baseball bat at? It's dang near pristine condition. Perfect. Now we have a wood axe in here we can use for when we uh, need to go chop stuff down. Let's prepare. Alright, cool. Surely they have, like, guns or something in here, right? Cooking Volume 1, which we could use, but honestly, we're not going to be cooking that much. So, ooh, another Desert Eagle, an M9, Fox 44, which I already have a couple of. Honestly, I might ditch the Magnum, the magazines, and the ammunition here. Just because they do take up a little bit of space. And I'd rather not have them take up space when I could, you know, be carrying anything else. Also, this Magnum. I don't know why I'm carrying a Magnum and a Desert Eagle since they take the same amount of ammunition. Actually, does that have anything in it? It does. Um, let's unload that. There we go. Re-equip the baseball bat. I do hear some zombies outside, but that's nothing new. So with that, we should be a little bit underweight now. Cool. Um, what else am I carrying that I don't really need? This electronics book, I suppose? Fuck! Yep, that's how that goes. That's why you don't open a door when you're not ready. Like, bash something's brain in. Now, I figured that maybe, just maybe, we would have had, uh, actually, like, I don't know, the zombie bashing on the door if it was inside the house. But no, we just got another fucking injury for no damn reason there. Also got a spike baseball bat there. Ooh, we got the machete. Mmm, that's good. I don't want to use it for clearing this place out, though. I think it would be wiser to... Save that for the hospital, perhaps? We also have nightstick, hammer, crafted spear. We could make a, a better spear here. Uh, what has the most calories of all this food? The canned tuna. Let's go ahead and open one, and we'll eat that for now. Eat all of it. Damn. I cannot believe that we got bitten again. Well, <sighs> suppose what we'll do for now, and we did just rest previously, but let's go ahead and read this book, and we'll just uh, finish it off so I can drop it out of my inventory here, and we'll just kind of relax for today. And tomorrow, after we sleep, 
we can go back to the apartment building and kind of clear it out. It's going to take a while. Going to keep going till it's done because I don't want to carry around nonsense with me, you know. And done. All right, drop that shit on the ground. I said drop that shit on the ground. There we go. All right, let's eat this cereal that we didn't finish. Go. We just barely didn't finish it, by the way. Um. Okay, let's remove these bandages. I'm just going to put an abrasive bandage on there to get rid of it. And then let's go ahead and... On another bandage for that one to keep it all clean. Excellent. All right. Let's eat more tuna, shall we? Wow, I'm still not like full either. There we go. Now we're full. All right, let's go ahead and fill our water bottle, clean the bandage that we used, and take a drink. Uh-oh, water shut off. That's not good for us. Okay. So, where are we now? We're up here. So I guess we can use this location as kind of a staging area for taking out that place. And then once we take that place out, we can use that as a staging area to take out that place, right? Um, that way, we kind of have things going around. So I think what I'll do here is I'm just going to take everything we don't really need, like this stuff in here, the duct tape and garbage bags, put it in here. Anything that'll lower our carrying weight. Um, vitamins. Perfect. And how much are we carrying still? We're still carrying a lot. What is, like, picking up so much? Probably the hand axes, the hunting knives. It doesn't seem like that much, does it? Hmm. How much is the Maltov? Pound and a half? Okay. Okay. Let's get rid of... I was going to say let's get rid of the sleeping tablets, but... We might need those to sleep. But I guess if we're here, we would have access to them, so we can just put them away. Lighten our load. Um, I'm just going to say I'm not going to use these hunting knives and probably not going to use the hand axes when we're doing this. Let's be honest. Instead, let's take this metal bar and this baked baseball bat. This baked, spiked baseball bat. The Molotov will be in case we uh, really have shit go to hell. Experiencing too much pain to sleep. Fine. I can't sleep anyway. You know what? There was a cooking volume one here, right? Let's just read it. Just until we're tired enough to sleep. Because once we get the, a little bit tired, there we go. We can go ahead and I'm just going to put this book right back into here, take our painkillers, and then while waiting for the painkillers to kick in, let's go ahead and read this book, and why not, let's, nope, let's not smoke a cigarette, because now it's time to sleep, let's go! What's going off? Is 
there an alarm clock somewhere? Is this woman's watch? I did not know that zombie watches can go off. That's not great. Okay, anyway. We'll use this as our base of operations. <clears throat> Luckily, it's fairly secured. And we have uh, supplies and stuff up here. So, let's head on down. And we have fences for fence strats. And if necessary, we can jump into other houses to lose zombies. The only problem is that horde is kind of over there. You know what's interesting? I was expecting to see, like, much larger hordes since we set the horde limit to be a thousand, right? So I just realized I fucking forgot to eat something back there. Okay, let's cross the road and get into one of these houses and we'll eat something here. Don't be anything around this corner. There's not. Excellent. Of course. Open the window. Excuse me? Okay, smash the window. Might have attracted some ne'er do wells. That's fine for now, though. To a boolean cube. What's the fridge have? Not the freezer, the fridge. A jalapeno. Eat it. Let's check over here. Anything in these, or is it all just canned stuff? Canned stuff. Uh. Open the canned peaches, my guy. Come on. There we go. All right. Um. Go ahead and just eat all of that. I'm just going to take a couple of open canned corn. There we go. All right, let's put that can opener back. I'm just going to take a couple of extra canned goods for when we get hungry again as we're doing stuff. I can bandage some dirty again. Whatever. Let's just walk away from that zombie who's hammering the wall. Yep, she's not interested right now. Ooh, there's more bourbon probably in that cabinet over there. Get away from the edge so we can avoid getting hit. Another little group there. All right, so we need to go <clears throat> down that way. Probably be best if we go around the front then. I believe there's just one zombie banging on stuff over here. That window's smashed. I definitely didn't do that. Let's sneak up and kill this zombie here. There we go. Why, you might ask? Because... The zombies don't respawn, and every zombie we kill now is a zombie we don't have to kill later. Ambulance back that way. I'm gonna real quick see if this is open. It is. I'm gonna sneak back to their kitchen. Everyone's out of it. Perfect. Got any junk food or anything, my guy? No. I wanna clean these bandages and stuff. Redo them. Also, why not get my uh, stuff up here? All right. Remove bandage. Put a new bandage on. Remove bandage. Put a new bandage on. Clean bandages. Apparently I lost one there. 
I guess, wait, one was an adhesive bandage, right? All right. Now then, back out we go. Check the map. So we need to go basically kitty corner and then up one is where we're going to head. I'm going to leave that door open to note that I've been in there. And it was relatively safe. Okay. Let's head down maybe this street. Okay, let's do that. I don't want to go down that way. Times are pounded on something in there, I think. I'm going to go across this little street here to walk away from that building. I do not want to be near that building. I think that's one of the houses I ran into when I was running away from the horde at one point. We're just going to walk down through here. Hopefully avoid those zombies coming after me. Just gonna keep you going for a moment. Okay, yeah, a couple of them are coming. That's fine. Let's get try to get to like there. Come on, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Stay out in the open where we are relatively safe. Let's get over here. We can use that fence strat again. Hopefully the zombies that we were dealing with with our shotgun over there aren't going to give us too much trouble. Hopefully they all left further away than where we uh, left them before. Okay. Last one following me right now. There we go. Check our surroundings. Looks good. Another hunting knife for me. I'll take it. Hunting knives strike me as one of the easiest weapons to get, huh? Okay. Let's pop some painkillers. That'll hopefully get us down lower in terms of... Uh, or raise our damage, since then we'll be able to actually do stuff. It looks like there is roof access over there. I'm going to wait for this guy to come to me and take him out. That zombie jumped off the roof. Or of a higher floor, anyway. Come out nothing there. Back is good. I'm going to wait for this zombie. They're down. We have another Louisville map. Let's read it. Not the one I need. Drop it on the ground. Okay, we got a couple more takers here. Hello, hello. I could just call out and try to get all their attention, lure them all the way, but I prefer to take a stealthier approach, I do believe. Come on, y'all. I can lure them over like a couple at a time and just keep my back clear. I should be all right. That was a little bit more attention than I wanted to bring up, but I think we're still okay. I don't want to be going this way. Hit them. Ooh, that was a close one. That guy would have had me in just a moment. Walk back over towards the fences. No, that's not ideal. Those zombies are uh, getting up. It's also not ideal. Okay, 
looking clear for now. Got her. Damn. I don't know why I didn't hit that one guy, but... Come on. Get him. Get him. Knock him out. Just headshot him. Let's go. I'm going to run away for a second. Make sure this side is clear. We're okay for now. I can see my shotgun that I dropped on the ground and all the zombie corpses. That's great. Put some distance around. Hopefully they uh, kind of spread out a little. It should be good over here. so nice with multiple people because I can be like luring them away while a uh, teammate is like, kind of checking my back making sure that no one's gonna get in my way or like catch me from behind you know careful on the ground there we go there we go got grandma all right Whew. that was crazy we got another Louisville now I keep clicking place the damn not read. How about I want to play some map? Is that the one I was missing? It was not. Unfortunate. Okay, well. We are uh, a little bit exerted. Might be a good chance to, to sit down. To collect ourselves a little bit. Okay. We got to be careful of exertion as well, because if we get too exerted, we will not be able to fight. As you saw, that slight exertion gave me negative 30% melee damage, which is bad. Now, I could potentially throw a Molotov down at those guys. I might do that, actually. Just to see how a Molotov works. Unless I've never used one. I'm not sure how much throwing distance I have here. Yeet! No, thro throw it! How do I throw it? Well, clearly not like that. God damn it. How do I fucking do this? Do I have to light it first? Um, unequip. Equip secondary, maybe? And then, I don't know. Do I need to, like, equip secondary, equip primary? I need to stand up and walk instead of doing this. There we go. That somehow worked. So you have to have the lighter in your offhand. Fortunately, I don't think that's going to do much since it landed on concrete and didn't hit many of the damn zombies. I think I got like two of them lit on fire. They were still clustered together like they were originally. I think I would have done a lot better with it, but yeah, I guess. Uh, I, I figured he would take the damn lighter out of his pocket and uh, use it that way instead of being a terrified little ninny. He needs to take some painkillers because we're getting to that point. Yeah, some of them are still on fire. I think if I just wait here these guys will come to me and the other ones will just stay back there because they've lost interest. Okay, that way's secured. Let's start taking them down. A 
Although now my guy's panicked, so we're not doing too well right now. Come on. Gain some confidence in yourself, my guy. Like I have a gun. He has something in his hand. Hello, priest. Okay, got him. Nice. Is that all of them dead? Perfect. All right, so what did that guy have in his hand? Four matches. I'll take those. Well, I would take those, but apparently I can't. This guy. Was it a notebook then? Ah. How odd. All right. And let's go ahead and smoke a ciggy. really going to help the exertion, but yeah. Okay. And I know we could eat some food right now, but I'm not going to do that, because if I did, it would uh, waste the food, I think. Well, not really waste it, but... Oh, hey, look! More of them got on fire! Nice! I'll just hopefully uh, keep burning for a little bit. How's my baseball bat look? About half condition. As long as I stay away from that one that's on fire, I think I should be fine, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Woohoo! Okay, the grass is starting on fire now. That's not ideal. I think I almost got lit on fire, too, if you know what I mean. Well, I'm just going to walk away a little bit here. We're starting to get in pain again. I'm just going to sit down and... Whew. Get rid of that exhaustion. I don't know why the uh, flames are spreading like that. Huh. That's just concrete that it's letting on fire. Do they use some sort of, like, weird material for their pavement? That does not look good. Hopefully that doesn't spread to the uh, building we're trying to conquer. I mean, it would burn it out and then very, very easily help us. Uh, look at the zombies inside of it. You can see fire down there, too. I don't know how the fire is still burning. Well, I'm going to take these stairs up and go into this house, though. We can have a, a little bit more of a chill time. No. Move the broken glass. Please. Thank you. Climb through the window. Oh, let's, before I start searching and looting this place, let's secure it first. I don't want to repeat of what happened at the last house where I didn't clear and then got overconfident. I think that's just the door to exit, yeah? Okay. We're safe. I might as well eat this stuff now then, since we have it. I'll take the granola bar and put it in my backpack. Same with the peanut butter, since they don't weigh too much. There we go. Bandages are also looking good. Don't have to worry too much about placing them. Ooh, we got another bourbon. We can make another Molotov once we get some ripped sheets. But, uh, yeah. What's in this giant thing here? A guitar case, a duffel bag, a jacket. I can go ahead and rip these up go now we can make a molotov perfect didn't realize i was gonna rip up that many sheets okay 
Maybe we'll find some more liquor here, huh? Got any more liquor, my guy? What if I make some orange soda Molotov, huh? That'd be hilarious, wouldn't it? Use the orange soda to make a molly. All right. Let's search the rest of this house here quick. Electric guitar, fedora. Looks like this uh, place was full of magicians. Mu magicians. Musicians, even. Well, one of my bandages just went dirty, so let's go ahead and remove it and replace it. Do you think... Does the bitten effect stay on forever? Let me search that up real quick. Zomboid does bitten heal if you turn off zombification. Let's see. Light should always heal, although they take a considerable amount of time. Up to 150 in-game hours with slow healer, if the wiki is to be believed. Okay, so it just is going to take a while. Like, a number of days. A while. So that's fine. I don't mind that. Really? Just, uh... M14 in here? Okay. God bless America. Uh, what's my current jacket? Leather jacket. I think I'll put this one on instead. Because mine is uh, a little bit older. And uh, it's taking a little bit of damage. I'd rather have a new one. So, do that. What else we got? An alarm clock, pencils. I'm overweight for some reason. I don't know why. Is it just because of those sheets? Apparently. Apparently, sheets weigh quite a bit of uh, weight there. Well, I'm just going to go pig out in the kitchen for a second here, then. <laughs> be nice if I still have that electrician. Or, wait, I've already read the electrician book all the way. Oats, eat them all. We're getting a little overweight. We are. Look. What should we tell me what overweight did? 60% more healing instead of 30, huh? Full to bursting. We need to be careful about our weight, so uh, why don't we exercise while we're waiting to uh, get tired. All right, Let's sit on the ground, relax a bit. Okay, we are in pain, so let's take another painkiller so we can sleep. go sleep time i don't know why i'm going around to this side of the bed but whatever works my guy whatever works my bandage is once again dirty so let's go ahead and change that out before we head on out remove bandage replace bandage clean bandage Easy peasy. We're going to have some limb pain here. And it would have been so much nicer if... Ooh, carpentry level 1. How much is that going to weigh? 0 0.8. Can I take that without being overweight? I can. We also have farming, which I already need. But we, we need carpentry. At least in order... If we do clear this apartment without any trouble, we need it. I'm going to kill this zombie here, because he is going to be my way. Luckily, it looks like the fire didn't spread too far for everything else. There's also that zombie we're going to need to kill. Just push his ass. There we go. Okay. 
Painkiller, take pain pills, please. And then we're climbing this fence. There we go. We want to kill this zombie next. Hello, buddy. There we go. So did the zombies that were here go to form another like posse somewhere or what happened? Did they all die maybe? Looks like they might have died. I'm gonna take these gloves. My gloves are a little bit dirty and bloody. A little group they're trying to form up. Oh, damn, there's a bunch right there. Okay. Equip primary. Equip secondary. I'm not going to use this next to the uh, thing here, but I'm going to go over here. Hey! Hey, nerds, come on! Over here to me. All y'all. Has a backpack. Not a hiking pack. It's a backpack. Come on. What are you waiting for? Come on. I'm just gonna throw it and then jump over the fence, I think. It's gonna be my plan. So let's go. Yeet! I'm gonna run away before that explodes on me. And boom. We have them walking through it. I'm jumping over now so that I can equip my baseball bat in both hands. Oh no, there's a group over there. There's a group over there. There's a large group over there. A large group over there. Okay. Not ideal. Not ideal. We are quite spooked, so we're... Uh... We're at negative 30, but now we're at negative 20. We just need that to go down one more, and I think we should be okay to fight some zombies. There we go. All right. This is such a chore. The more we kill now, the more we uh, save ourselves the trouble later. If these guys come after me... I might just do some fence strats here. How's my baseball bat looking? In okay condition. Come on. I'm gonna hop over here. And then once they start coming over the fence, I'll just bop them. Come on. There we go. Don't swing up top. Hit him in the head. My guy does not like fucking use fence strats, it seems. Do it again. Make sure I didn't get bit there. No, hit the ground! Oh my god. My guy. Please kill that one. Don't kill that one too. Get him the fuck out of here. I'm tired of looking at his ass. Let's try this again. Up and over. Got him. Alright. Up and over one more time. Go on the ground. Come on. All over. Stagger. Stagger. There we go. Now I'll kill the two that are actually on the ground. Got him. All right. Oh, that's all the zombies in the median area. Hell yeah, my brothers. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where all the zombies that I like. They're probably up here. That like huge horde that I took the one time that I was using the shotgun on. But, uh... Wait, hold on. I think I just heard one. Did I just hear a zombie? No? Where'd he go? I fucking did. Uh, 
to have ourselves a little smoke. Celebratory smoke. Okay. All right. Perfect. <coughs> well, we managed to kill quite a few of the zombies as we uh, exited the area. Let's replace this bandage real quick while we have a moment. That was our uh, first aid skill. It's almost up the next one. Okay. Let's go see the damage we inflicted down here. Oh. Well. So they're having a fun time down there. I think if I just, like, let them sit there, they'll, like, burn out eventually. I want to just, like, hit the fast-forward time button and just watch them wait until they, like, die. But I also don't want to get, like, caught unaware up here. Maybe I'll just go over this way, jump over the fence. And then, uh, go to the apartment where I can just fast-forward time a bit. I don't think I can see them from the apartment, but... Or at least maybe if I hop the fence. Look at them. Look at them down there. The idiots. I don't even know how that group got on fire because I threw the Molotov way down there. So. Crazy how that works. I'm just going to jump it now. I don't know why that sound is playing at the moment. They're mashing something. Oh, we're so close to the next level. Come on. Give it to me. There we go. Light footed increased. Those guys are still on fire, too. Yeah, I think... Uh... They're going to take so long to burn. Where did they come from? I got a carpentry book, right? Yeah, I'm just going to go into this room. We'll relax for a bit. And, uh... That door starts shaking. We know we have to get out. Watch the fire zombies be uh, like over here trying to get in, and they, uh, Start this apartment building on fire. God, that'd be so fucked up, wouldn't it? Alright, I'm gonna eat these before they go bad. They're still a little hungry, so let's eat the other can. I know I was like, oh, we're gonna save them until we have to use them, but let's be honest, let's not kid ourselves. We aren't gonna do that. Let's redo our... Oh, finally the neck bite is fucking gone. Let's disinfect with cologne, because I want... Honestly, I just want the cologne out of my fucking inventory. Okay. We're just in a little bit of pain now. So that's perfect. We can now um, learn carpentry at an accelerated rate. It'd be nice to find a first aid book so I could level that up a little bit quicker, but... Jesus. What do you guys think? What, what should we do? First of all, how is our baseball bat holding out? Getting a little low in condition there. 
Let's go. Check this area out. Yeah, they're not trying to get into my building, so that's fine. I think in this duffel bag, I forgot to check. I forgot to check, I should say. Do they have a can opener? Oh, I have a screwdriver and stuff, so I can just use that for them. Can I put this stuff in my backpack without it weighing me down? I can. Perfect. All right, what do they have in here for fresh stuff? Um, what would give me the most, like, happiness? Anything? Not particularly. We'll drink the milk, then. Our guy's gonna need to go on a diet or something quick. Let's, uh, do some exercising. Okay. And let's, as a treat, we will eat some salami. We should be getting close to getting tired now. Oh, I think I'm gonna grab a midnight snack here. There we go. We are a little bit agitated, but that's fine. Oops, come on. Did it eat too early? Well, I think by now anyone who's on fire has uh, pretty well gotten fucked, right? Let's sleep now and just see what happens. How long will I stay asleep for? Probably at least until I'm no longer muscle-bound, right? Um, we need to smoke, and we can go back out. Okay, gonna have to find another thing of bourbon so we could light some stuff on fire. We're still safe. Hop out to the front side here. Take a look. Oh yeah, look at all that death down there, baby. Until 156 zombie kills on this guy. I don't know if that counts the fire that I threw down here, or if that's like just from me doing stuff. I know there's like a mod to like if you do fire damage accounts and stuff like that, but I don't have that installed. But... How many zombie bodies here? Right, how's it looking down there? Still got a fucking little horde down there. Maybe I can lure him away, though. Everything else is clear around me, right? Hey guys, hey, come here. If I can get like one or two at a time to come and say hello to me, that's great. So, why are you shocked, sir? Oh, fuck. There we go, got him. Ha, <laughs> I'm gonna take your fucking wallet, motherfuckers. All right, this lady should see me now, right? Oh, that one just got up, too. Fuck. Like I said, it's really hard to just judge distance when you're uh, going down. That one just jumped off the roof. Come at me, sir. Try to get a side angle here. Got him. Nothing on him. Another one jumped out of the roof. God dang. Suicidal zombies up in this motherfucker, huh? I'm back away here. At this point, the zombies might be hearing me a little more. One thing I did do is turn the zombie sound, uh, like their hearing awareness, down a little bit. I don't think zombies would have very good hearing with their corpses, right? 
Ooh, that was a good fucking hit right there. A fucking, like, upswing attack. Love it. Alright, let's back away. I don't want to go this way. I want to go up here. Where it's uh, safer for my back to be, you know. Come on, ladies, let's go. Slowly and surely take some of them out. There we go, come on. Keep swinging. Keep swinging. Got two of them with that hit. Fuck yeah. There's another one down. You're dead. You're gone. You're gone. Got him. Fucking destroyed him, my guys. Holy shit. Another hunting knife to add to my collection. Okay, that should have been a, a decent chunk of that horde down there, right? Yeah. All right. Nope, oh, another guy just jumped out. Another one jumped out, too. That's all right. The more of them we have jumping out and killing themselves, or hurting themselves. Well, I guess they don't really hurt themselves, do I? Because if they did, their health would be lower when I start bashing their brains in. And they're not. Couple more jumped out. Couple more jumped out. So I think they're jumping out to join the horde that's collecting down here. I'd like to at least get the bottom of this area clear before we uh, wrap up today's video. You know? Get away from me. One is on the ground, and I don't like it. Yeah, I'm gonna run away. Because I really didn't like how that one was, like, getting real close to my ankles. It was really bugging me. Do fuck off, please. Can you stop, lady? Get away! Oh my god. There's my baseball bat. Oh, fuck you, kid! Disinfect with cologne. At least it's not a bite, it's just a scratch, so it's going to heal pretty quick. Of course, my baseball bat broke right there. All right, on the ground it goes. We already have a spare one back at the house or whatever, so... Fine. All right. I'm going to hit some motherfuckers with my metal bar. Well, we are overexerted right now. Let's go ahead and take a quick sit. Okay. Um, I would say let's eat that eggplant that I have, but I don't want to do that because we are uh, a little bit chubby at the moment. We need to get that weight down, and eating more is just going to cause problems for me, so. Come here, losers. Time for y'all to die. Be liberated from this earth! What the fuck? Can y'all not? A little bit slow on the uh, reaction time with this pipe. I don't know how I was doing better with the baseball bat. It's two-handed, and with this pipe that is one-handed. Okay. Uh, 
man, I get like one or two down, and then the rest are just already back up, so I can't fucking tap the one on the ground. See what I mean? At least it puts them out of the action for like a moment. See, I get another one down, and another one gets up. Bash his fucking brain in. <sighs> another Louisville map. Give that a quick read. I don't think that was the one I needed. It might have been the one I needed, actually. Now that I think about it. Drop this on the ground real quick. Alright. <sighs> Come here, boy. Problem is, I'm getting comfortable with one specific weapon, and it's uh, causing me issues because I'm not good with short flunt, but I was really good with long blade, maintenance weapons, yada yada yada, right? Let me check the map. Was that a piece I was missing? It was! Nice. Very good. We're on a roll! Knock on wood so we don't jinx the motherfucker. We're doing pretty good. If we can just mop up these zombies that are outside and then start getting the ones inside, we might be making some real progress today. Get away from me, lady. Is that a hand axe in your back? I might take that once I'm right here. <laughs> lady, just get back on the ground. Hey, no biting. I'm not into that kink. No biting in here. I thought I saw a key. But yeah, the hand axe is coming with me. And this, uh, this map, I'll read that real... You know what, fuck it, I'm not gonna read the map. <laughs> I've decided against that. That's probably not the best course of action right now. Another fucking map. Why do these people have so many maps? Um, hand axe needs to go in my backpack before it, uh, weighs me down. Alright. Let's keep going. Oops. Fuck. That was close. I was pledging this one to death before the other ones come. Come on, there we go. You stay on the ground, sir. Take two at a time. Not a problem. Especially if that happens. Got them. Fucking sprayed their ass everywhere. Alright. I'm going to sit on the ground quick. We're just going to take a moment to rest. Because we're probably getting a little exerted after all that smashing in the face that we've been doing. There we go. Ah, that's all we can do. Just that little bit there. But that's fine. Oh yeah, it was enough. It was enough. Got him. Nice. Okay. Doing good. We're doing good. It's a little bit surely we're luring them out. Maintenance weapons. Hold on. Hell yeah. I guess this counts as a melee and a short blunt. So our metal pipes, just like the goat weapon. I'm gonna kill this guy before he wanders in while I'm fighting these big guys or something. Not big guys, but you know, a big amount of people. 
Whew, okay. We have done very well for ourselves so far. All of these zombies, all of those today. There's still a couple inside, and we have to be careful about going in because the zombies can drop down from the higher floors, remember. And if that happens and they come in behind us, we're going to be in for a bad time. We also have a key here. I'll take that. Thank you, sir. Got some magazines and stuff down here. Perfect. I could use those to learn some stuff. Okay. 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 Crap, I don't know why I didn't hit it sooner like I wanted to. Fuck. 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 No, get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. Get off. Bandage. Let's go. Come on. We just need to bandage. Don't worry about anything else. Just bandage. All I have is dirty bandages. Okay. Well, better than no bandage. I don't know where these zombies came from. But uh, I think it's time to go back home. So we can... Not back home, home. But back to our previous little... Uh, sleepy area that we encountered up here is so that we can hide from the zombies we can recover and eat a little bit we can actually get good non uh, fucked up band-aids okay they're still not breaking in through here so that's that's great uh, clean bandage uh Disinfect with cologne. Put a bandage on. I may... Uh, I may be out of bandages. No fucking way, huh? That's not great. Well, we can use ripped cloth, which we have up here. Where did I put the ripped cloth at? Is it in the garbage can? I put ripped cloth somewhere in here, right? Because I was like, oh, damn, that weighs a lot. I don't want it. I put it in the fridge or something? Where did I put it? For real. I remember ripping up some clothing. Was it down here? No? I guess I can just rip this up. Okay. Remove the bandage. Disinfect with alcohol wipes. Use rip sheets. Yeah, I don't know where these zombies are knocking at, but it's, it's not here, so... That's fine. We'll clean this bandage so I can at least put a clean one on here. Disinfect with alcohol wipes. There's my fatigue hitting. All right. Oh, that was close. Way closer than I would have liked that to be. See what I mean about the zombies just coming in behind you and then screwing you up? I did not mean to go... So, so when we got in there, right, through that doorway, and we tried to bash in that one guy in the overalls, we tried to bash his head in, um, the problem that we ran into there is that the... For whatever reason, I somehow got behind him after that, rather than backing away. So what ended up happening is I, in my infinite wisdom... Like, screwed up and got pinned between a couple of zombies, which was not ideal. Go ahead and replace these bandages, too. Okay. Is 
So, I think what our Gaga is going to do for today is just rest. Okay, well, this is this is a great time to wrap up the video, right? We have been uh, a little bit injured, a little bit not okay, and uh, we just need some time to, you know, take time for ourselves. He, he needs a break. We've been bludgeoning people with various weapons all day today, and I think he just needs to relax. We might also, uh, if I can go to the bathtub, I'll wash myself off, because he's probably filthy. Um, and that's not going to be helpful to our wounds. So anyway, I'm going to end things here. I'll wait a little while, so hopefully our injuries heal up a little bit more than they are. I'll probably pass the day uh, by sleeping whenever we have to sleep here. And then when we come back, we'll continue our journey to try and clear out the tower. Or the apartments, whatever the hell you want to call them. Once we get that area secure, we'll be right across the street from the hospital, our next area. And my plan isn't just to take the hospital over and whatnot. We're going to take the hospital... We're gonna like board up around this area. Probably not that whole street there, but we're gonna board up most of this area to keep it secure, right? And then I wanna take the whole city. All of it. I'm talking like put a fence around all of this, go block by block clearing out zombies, maybe even destroying houses to the point that everything in here belongs to me and it's safe and secure. That's the long-term goal. I don't know how long we're going to be doing that for. I might, like, start taking over block by block. Right? So we secure this area with walls and using the trees we collect in here. And then we move to this, like, block here to secure it. And move to this one. I kind of do a block by block clearing and placement of, you know, walls and stuff like that, right? But again, we'll see how all that happens. And once again, our torso is bloody. God dang. All right. Like I said, we're going to wrap up here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.